And now, Cap gave you first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. 6.44 on this Friday morning and we finally made it to the end of the work week. I know a lot of folks are going to be heading out and about this upcoming week and a lot of fall activities, fall festivals taking place and it should be gorgeous. But we're still dealing with some clouds and maybe a stray shower or two depending on your uh, location. Dry conditions though right now. This is in downtown Yakima that is all powered by people for people. But we still have some rainfall uh, coming down at the moment around the foothills of the Blues uh, from Walla Walla and down into Pendleton. So break out your umbrella this morning. I think there's going to be a lot more dry time though as we take you throughout your afternoon. So here's future cast by lunchtime. Still a stray shower can't be rolled out, but looking much better out there this afternoon. Partly sunny, a lot of dry time out there. Low to even upper 60s across the area today. And then the gorgeous weather. Plenty of sunshine Saturday. And you'll see here the timestamp even taking you out through Sunday afternoon. Still looking at beautiful. Nothing but a blue sky is expected on Sunday. Close to 70 degrees as well uh, for both Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures out the door this morning. A little bit of a cooler start down uh, into Yakima. You're at 37, 35 in Ellensburg. Up to 48 degrees though in the Tri Cities. And then Walla Walla, you're sitting in at 50 degrees. Degrees. Our wind speeds for today will be picking up a bit as well. Right now we have a sustained wind in Walla Walla up to about 11 miles per hour. At times though for today we could see some of those winds gusting between 15 to maybe as much as 25 miles per hour. So there's that weak system still impacting much the Pacific Northwest. Kind of a soggy start to the day as well back into Seattle. Uh, even for Spokane this morning looking at some scattered rainfall. A lot of this though should be moving out and should be gorgeous weather to uh, view some of the fall uh, foliage that we have around the area. So we're looking at the gorgeous colors out there even back to the Cascades. Uh, if you're going to be traveling in that direction get your camera out snap that picture. Send those over here to Good Morning Northwest. Love to feature them here uh, for the photo of the day. Let's get you to your travel forecast though. Of course, looking at the scattered uh, rainfall out there for today, uh, but then back to plenty of sunshine for Saturday and Sunday. Sunday will be up to 64 degrees. More rainfalls in the forecast as well down into Portland, but we should be drying out. Lots of sunshine for both Saturday and Sunday. Sunday will be the warmest day, close to 70 degrees. And then here's that forecast for Spokane, dodging a few of those rain showers for today as well at 57. And then back to lots of sunshine for your weekend, close to 60 uh, by Saturday. So here's today's forecast. Locally, we're expecting those numbers to be climbing up uh, into the upper 60s for some locations. And then Saturday and Sunday, we're going to have those temperatures close to 70 degrees. So beautiful, again, if you're going to be heading out for any of those fall activities. So 63 in Yakima with 59 degrees in Ellensburg today, 67 in the Tri-Cities with 66 in Hanford, and then those low 60s for Pendleton and Walla Walla. So still a little bit breezy overnight tonight. We'll have a few clouds round down to 47 Tri-Cities and 42 in Yakima. Here's a look ahead at your seven day forecast for the Tri-Cities with that beautiful weekend. Lots of sun, even up to 74 degrees on Monday. By Tuesday, scattered rain showers, and that will lead to some cooler temperatures by Wednesday and Thursday back into the low 60s. And then your seven day for Yakima, mostly sunny as well, Saturday and Sunday, up to 66 on Sunday and 70 degrees by Monday.